Feral hogs are an issue all over the state of Texas. They tear through everything, yeah. leaving a path of destruction. Well, tonight, KRBC's Catherine Garcia spoke with a Tuscola woman who wants them off her land. That's tonight's top story. Last year, they sprinted down Buffalo Gap. I don't know what to do about them. I don't think anybody does, and that's the problem. This year, they're disturbing Tuscola residents. But as soon as I came out and they heard me, and I saw one of them, and I started yelling, and so all of them just took off, and they went off into the woods. So that was the first time I saw them. Since then, they've been here almost every day. Myra Dean was alerted by her dogs barking one morning that feral hogs had taken over her property. Anyway, they're coming out, and they're going to get them, and I'm going to let them have the hogs, and if they trap any, they, they'll probably either donate them to eat. Usually, they donate the meat, these guys, so... And I ran them off, and they just go right back into the woods. Dean says she wants them to be handled humanely, but she wants them gone. So I use a cage style trap, and I'm just going to wire the gates open so the hogs can get used to going in and out of them, and then I'm going to eventually set them okay. so when they go in, they can't get back out. Trappers such as Andy can relocate the beasts if able to catch them, but the problem may be out of their hands. I'm like everybody else in Texas. You know, they just tear up your yard or farmers, they eat the crops, they tear up the fields. I mean, they're a huge problem. When hogs proliferate as fast as they do, and we don't really have a comprehensive plan statewide to get rid of them, we're going to have to do something. Dean says she's ready for the state to take over. In Abilene, Catherine Garcia, KRBC, Abilene's Local News.